Good morning, church. Oh, wow. Um, this is a bit overwhelming for me. Uh, I'm usually used to, I'll just look somewhere up there, to be in front of, <laughs> of uh, everybody else in my, my students except for everybody that I love and know. Okay, so I'm just going to give a short testimony about my February fasting month, what I, how I started and how it went. So when the month started, um, I was screaming out literally as I was walking, even when I was smiling, I shouted, Lord, I need you, Lord, I need your grace, and Lord, I need your peace. This was my prayer and thoughts when I started the fasting journey. I had just gone through two years that were challenging in different ways and that I cannot even begin to describe to anyone, but God and a few close friends know what I went through. I felt that I couldn't understand what was happening to me physically because I was in and out of hospital. And then just when I thought uh, 2021 is over and I prayed as we started the year that no more hospitals, Lord, then my emotional turmoil started. I had emotional challenges that I couldn't even begin to tell anybody what I was going through. Even the close friends around me even say that uh, we can't believe that you're this strong. We can't believe that you can handle something like this. And at that point, I just broke down and I didn't know what to say. So when the year started, I had a challenge for God, of course. (laughs) And I said to him, you know, I'm hungry. I'm hungry for you and I don't know what, what what is peace. So peace is what I was really hungry for. And I must tell you, I wanted God to just show me whatever made you want, you know, just heal my soul, heal my heart. But um, when I had, I have a couple of friends that I also pray with at the mountain. I just felt the Lord say, be vulnerable. And I started being vulnerable. The first few days, I must confess, I'd not see it. I was vulnerable. My heart was completely open. I wanted him to really touch me to the deepest part of my soul. But I didn't see that at the beginning. So I thought, let's do what Dana has always asked me to do. You know, I always cheat every year with that Bible, one year reading Bible thing. I read, 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 and when it gets to be too long and I'm busy, then I kind of push it aside and I read when I can. So this year, I actually said to Sibylle, I want to read that Bible every single day. So I began doing that. I follow the Bible plan and I love listening to it more than reading it because I can multitask then. So um, while reading it, uh, it gave me something to look, off, to look forward to every morning. So when I'm brushing my teeth, I'm listening and I then go ahead and I comment. I don't have much to say usually because of my burdened heart. I didn't have so much to say. So the pattern was very nice. It was slow and progress was like slow. But as the days progressed, there was this light that kept shining bright. And I didn't understand that, you know, the situation was still around, but that light kept shining. I kept smiling. I was looking forward to each and every single day. And that was, um, I think the other verse then that was shared was that your plans are not my plans. And that gave me courage. I know now that my plans are not always going to be God's plans and he's busy working in me and within me. Then the verse came again, come to me all those who are weary and I'll carry your heavy burdens then I'll give you rest. And I just cried so much but the peace that I had in my heart was so overwhelming that I was smiling and laughing and I didn't understand why I carried so much peace. And I'm scared that the month has ended. I must tell you that I've been told, Ryan, I'm, bro- I'm so scared. Will the peace go away? Will it stay? <laughs> you know, I hope it stays because it has been such an amazing, peaceful month for me. That's all I've got to share.